Hello, welcome to Stone Magpie. My name is Suzanne. Thank you for joining me here on Stone Magpie. This diamond painting is the beautiful diamond painting from Diamond Art Studio called The Fairy House by Moonshape Monday. And I did put out a survey on the community page to ask your opinions on what to do with certain aspects in the painting, the windows and the lamps in particular, whether to do crystals, leave them as they are, and asked for your comments. And thank you to everybody who has commented and voted in the survey and given me your opinions too, and other ideas of what you might have done with this diamond painting. Gorgeous as it is, I just felt that the lamps maybe could be blinged up a bit with crystal as the windows being glass too. So thank you to everybody. As I say, I have been working on this diamond painting since the last video. And as I scroll up the canvas, you will see that ta -da, I have reached the bottom. So every part of this diamond painting is now finished apart from where the release papers are with those questions to answer about the lamps and windows. Isn't it beautiful? And it's not really a completion just yet because there are those areas to finish. So starting with this bottom release paper, we've got a yellow lamp here. And then going up to the top release papers, we've also got a yellow lamp there. A lot of people said that they would choose to do the two yellow lamps in crystals and diamond paint the rest. The other release papers are for the two grey lamps. Some people said that they would do them, but not purely. Nobody voted for purely doing those in crystal. So my mind is still wondering about those two. However, the last two release papers will show you that I decided to do the windows in the usual diamonds to match that top one. So this one doesn't have any ABs or crystals in. This one has some ABs in, as does the top window too, exactly as rendered by Diamond Art Studio. So what is left? Well, I have to say I got um, lots of interesting comments and two really have stuck out in my mind. One is somebody, and I think it might have been Mama Magpie, so thank you, Mum, <laughs> who said, think about where the focal point is on the painting. Well, this painting is full of focal points. When I first unboxed it, oddly, <laughs> it was the ivy at the bottom, which really caught my eye because of all that beautiful blending in the greens. However, I think looking at the completed diamond painting, it's probably the middle part and then your eye gets drawn up and those bees and then the snail. So your eye starts dotting around everywhere with the butterfly and this beautiful red arching flower in the middle. So for me, there isn't one focal point where your eye is drawn into the painting. Even with the pathway up to the door, I still think your eye travels around the whole painting and sees things all of the time that you didn't spot before. So I'm not as concerned about the focal point. Another comment, and I do wish I'd thought about this before, which I didn't do at all, was to perhaps use glow in the dark diamonds in parts of the diamond painting. And that would have looked great in the lanterns. However, if I just do the lanterns now in glow in the dark, I think it would look a bit odd in the dark when just those are shining and nothing else. I think had I had that amazing idea, I would have probably done some glow in the dark outlining and really picked points that would show up once the, once the light went down. I think it would have looked absolutely brilliant like that. 
However, as I say, I've virtually completed the painting, so I feel it's too late for me to add glow in the dark at this point. So what I'm going to do next, I am going to do the yellow lanterns with the crystals. And here are the crystals that I've taken out of the kit with the girl and the elephant. You may well have seen the unboxing for that. I am going to see what these look like in that lamp there and then decide whether I'm going to do the bottom lamp as well and continue with the crystals or whether to just diamond paint it as rendered. So that lamp is going to be the test. Join me in a minute to see what you think. Are you ready to see what it looks like? Here we go, the big reveal of the first yellow crystal lamp. Ta-da! So what do you think? Let me get you a closer view. What are your thoughts on the yellow lamp in crystals? I have to say, as soon as I put the first crystals in, my heart did a little leap of joy. I think it really does glow so prettily. Also, I've had an extra AB there, but it'll give me the chance to show you that I did actually add the ABs, that the D symbol around the edge, just to give another little different glow. So you may well see inside at the top and down here are the orange ABs as rendered. And I just think it acts it gives an extra dimension to it. I'm really pleased with it. And I do think that I will do the same down here now. Here we are, the completed lamp, well pressed down because these crystals are going to stay. I really like the effect of them. And this one doesn't have any of those ABs in at all, probably because the sunflower next to it has a lot of them. So the crystals, I think, have added an extra dimension to this bottom painting because this lamp was quite similar colours to the sunflowers. So by doing it in crystals, it's added a difference between the two. So, yep, really happy with the two yellow lanterns. Yay! Yes. So now... I need to try the lamps. So I've got to go to my grey crystals and see what numbers I can find and give that a test too. So if you're wanting to do the similar change on your canvas, the kit I got was this one from AliExpress to take the crystals from and I used three different yellow crystals because I did the ABs. If you wanted to do it purely crystal then there is a fourth crystal in this kit that you could use. I link the unboxing in the eye so that you could go to that video and see the link of where to purchase this one from. Okay I'll go and get my folder of crystals and see what colours I can find. Okay so I've had a look through my crystal leftovers and for 160, I've managed to have a 161, which I think will work well for that colour there. For 159, which I didn't have at all, I've chosen 138. I think it's a nice match, so we'll see how we get on with those. And 762 is a cream, which is actually quite hard to do in a crystal. So I've chosen a clear crystal for the question mark symbol, 762. And we've also got a white AB running through as well, which I am going to keep the same, which is the white AB. And we'll see how they look against the crystals. I may need to rethink this one, but we'll see how we get on. Okay, are you ready for the big reveal? Just before I do, to remind you, the crystals that I've used in the grey lamps are the leftovers from the crystal ball diamond painting from Diamond Dark Club. 
So if you want to see the crystals that I've used, I'll pop it in the eye and you can go and see that video and see the links below for where and which kit I got these crystals from. So we'll pop these aside. And let's see the finished result. There you have it. The lamps in grey and clear crystals with the ABs as rendered by Diamond Art Studio. And I really love that effect. The crystal just brings it out with a glow and yet the ABs have that little extra twinkle in them to give different colourways throughout. It is lovely and so much better than I imagined it to be. And that's not taking anything away from the beautiful rendering that Diamond Art Studio do. I just wanted to bling it up a little bit and I would definitely recommend a canvas from Diamond Art Studio. They are beautiful to work on. Really, really great quality, really good diamonds. I've got loads of leftovers, but before we get to see the full picture, let's get our Tic Tac boxes ready because we have a finish. I've got the Elizabeth style storage, but that doesn't have the same ring as Tic Tac, so shaky Tic Tacs, everyone. Woo! I'm so excited to show you the whole picture. Now, I might have to stand on my chair again to get it all in because it is a big canvas. I'll scroll along first and then we'll see how we get on in getting a full picture in shot for you. Now look at the background we started with in this sky. Look at the different colour blends. It is fantastic. All of that detail with the black outlining the two buzzy bees, all of the flower, floral details, the gorgeous daisies with the ABs in, the beautiful flower topped fairy house, and the lanterns, the butterfly, all of the berry details, the sunflowers, the other lanterns, pathways, a snail. In fact, talking about when I asked for suggestions, Ilona, the artist of this fairy house diamond painting, she suggested metallic for the door handle. Now I haven't been able to source any metallic diamonds as yet, but I may well switch those out to a gold metallic. So thank you to Ilona for that suggestion too. Really fabulous. Look at the colours in this diamond painting. Every colour you could possibly imagine as Ilona said when I interviewed her on a different video, every possible colour you could imagine. Blues, pinks, greens, oranges, yellows. Oh, it, the list goes on and on to create this fantastic picture. I can't wait to get this one framed and up on the wall. And because the black frame surrounds the whole picture, it frames itself in a way. So I think I'm just going to get a plain black frame a nice, sleek, modern, glossy one, hopefully, and pop that in and the picture will just lift out from that background too. The rope detail around the edge. Ilona, I know what you mean about the rope now, <laughs> but I still love that finish to frame the picture. Okay, let me try and get a full shot in view for you. There we go a full view picture of this diamond painting. Look how the colours sing from the canvas. What fantastic details we have with all the creatures surrounding the fairy house. So there we have it, a completion, my first completion from Diamond Art Studio. And I hope Sam and Giles don't mind too much about my changes that I made. I feel like I might be the naughty child in the corner. <laughs> But like I said, it doesn't take anything away from their rendering. It is fantastic and I can't wait to do another canvas from them. The diamonds, we didn't run out of any colours whatsoever. I've got lots of leftovers of these beautiful colours to save. And here are the packets. And as you can see, there are still some left in the packets too. 
So all that's left for me to do now is kit down this diamond painting, get myself a frame, pop it on the wall and enjoy. I hope you've enjoyed following the progress of this diamond painting and that you do subscribe. It's always appreciated and I really do love hearing your comments and letting me know what you're getting up to. Please do ding the notification bell to be notified of any uploads. I don't have a definite schedule for those. I just upload as and when I've got something to share with you. Until next time, do take care everybody. Keep sparkling and enjoy your own diamond painting. Bye!